This is the Star News Brief. I'm Tina Mombonu. Ruto on Friday started his four-day tour of Nyanza loaded with a bag of goodies even as some opposition MPs from the region snapped the visit. Ruto, who is on a tour of opposition chief Ralo Dinga's bastion, smashed goodies to the grumbling belt and assured residents his administration will spread out projects to every corner of the nation without bias as to whether they voted for him or not. Get a copy of the Star by subscribing to our e-paper for only 40 shillings by logging on to www.mgazetti.com. The government has signaled it will support a retirement package for governors. At an Intergovernmental Budget Economic Council meeting on Friday, Deputy President Trigger the Gashagwa underscored the state's commitment to seeing governors who retire live in dignity. The DP stated that they are going to engage the Salaries and Remuneration Commission to work out on the modalities on how to establish and anchor the scheme. President William Ruto on Friday put on notice all persons behind the Sondo clashes that have left at least seven people dead and several others injured. Speaking on his first day of the Nyanza tour, the Commander-in-Chief announced the security apparatus will be mobilized to deal ruthlessly with anyone fanning the clashes that have taken a tribal angle. The clashes along the Kericho-Kisumu border left several houses torched and properties destroyed. Residents of Muruga village in Katheri location in Buru, West Sub County, Meru County, on Thursday left in shock and disbelief after a woman committed suicide, leaving a note wishing to be buried together with her deceased sister. Irene Makandi, aged 30, hung herself outside their homestead and left a suicide note directing them to bury her in the same grave as her deceased sister, Frida Karirwa, who had died after an illness at the Nanyuki Teaching and Referral Hospital on Saturday last week. And for the last 20 years, parents visiting the Moy Teaching and Referral Hospital in Eldoret for treatment have escaped with 3.2 billion shillings in medical bills it has emerged. The revelation became evident when the hospital's CEO Wilson Arwasa appeared before Parliamentary Committee to respond to audit queries raised by the Auditor General in the 2015-2016 Financial Year Report. According to Arwasa, the amount which has accrued since 2002 has posed a great challenge to the hospital in trying to meet its target. Get a copy of the Star by subscribing to our e-paper for only 40 shillings by logging on to www.mgazetti.com.